Maiden May by Christina Rossetti, read for LibriVox.org by phone. Maiden May sat in her bower, in her blush rose bower and flower, sweet of scent, sat and dreamed away an hour, half content, half uncontent. Why should rose blossoms be born, tender blossoms on a thorn, though so sweet? Never a thorn besets the corn, scentless in its strength complete. Why are roses all so frail, at the mercy of the gale, of a breath? Yet so sweet and perfect pale, still so sweet in life and death. Maiden May sat in her bower, in her blush-rose bower and flower, where a linnet made one bristling branch to tower, for her nest and young ones in it. Gay and clear the linnet trills, yet the skylark only thrills, heaven and earth, when he breasts the height and fills height and death with song and mirth. Nightingales, which yield to night, solitary strange delight, reign alone. But the lark, for all his height, fills no solitary throne. While he sings, a hundred sing, wing their flight below his wing, yet in flight. Each a lovely joyful thing, to the measure of its delight. Why then should a lark be reckoned one alone without a second near his throne? He in skyward flight unslackened, in his music not alone. Maiden May sat in her bower, her own face was like a flower of the prime, half in sunshine, half in shower, in the year's most tender time. Her own thoughts in silent song musically flowed along, wise, unwise, wistful wandering weak or strong as brook shallows sink or rise other thoughts another day made in may will surge and sway round your heart wake and plead and turn at bay wisdom part and folly part time not far remote will borrow other joys another sorrow all for you not to-day and yet to-morrow reasoning false and reasoning true wherefore greatest wherefore least hearts that starve and hearts that feast you and i stammering oracles have ceased and the whole earth stands at why underneath all things that be lies an unsolved mystery over all spreads a veil impenetrably spreads a dense unlifted pall mystery of mysteries this creation hears and sees high and low vanity of vanities this we test and this we know maiden may the days of flowering nurse you now in sweet embowering sunny days bright with rainbows all the showering bright with blossoms all the ways Close the inlet of your bower, close it with thorn and flower, made in May. Lengthen out the shortening hour, morrows are not as today. Stay today, which wanes too soon, stay the sun and stay the moon, stay your youth. Bask you in the actual noon, rest you in the present truth. Let today suffice today, for itself tomorrow may fetch its loss. Aim and stumble, say it say, watch and pray and bear its cross. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.